Hi Coronado, I'm Blair King, Coronado City Manager, and this is the weekly update for the week ending February the 28th, 2020. The Coronado Police Department will begin offering a free hands-on motorcycle training class to teach riders the skills they need to avoid or minimize collisions. The Ride to Live course, which begins in March, is taught by certified Coronado police officers, will focus on the same riding techniques they use. The city hopes the program will help participants be more careful riders and provide officers a meaningful way to positively interact with the motorcycle riding public. Research shows that most riders involved in collisions have no formal motorcycle training. If cost is a factor, the city wants to eliminate that barrier. Four classes will be offered each year. Contact the police department or check out the webpage they have set up for more information. The city will plant 35 trees this year as its annual Arbor Day Plant a Tree in Coronado event on Saturday, February the 29th. The city will provide tools and instructions for the planting that will go on throughout town and invites the community to participate. Public Services and the Street Tree Committee will work with residents and groups to plant trees. It's important to note that the city plants trees annually to increase the age diversity of its urban forest so that the trees mature at varying times. To volunteer, arrive at Spreckles Park by, say, 8.30 a.m., bring gloves and close-toed shoes. Coronado TV is the City of Coronado's government access channel, which the city uses to provide time and informative content for the community 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Programming includes live City Council Planning Commission and four other board or commission meetings per month. The city recently updated its schedule of rebroadcast of city meetings. It can be found online. Coronado TV produces all of its own content, including this city manager's weekly update video and other special events, public service announcements, and short features as well. The city's lifeguards and other first responders train this week to help prevent needless injuries and death from being trapped under sand. It's dangerous to dig large holes in the sand because it may collapse. Coronado lifeguards coordinated sand entrapment training for first responders this week. Firefighters, lifeguards, and police personnel spent the morning learning proper skills on how to safely rescue a victim out of a collapsed sand tunnel. The March 3rd primary is next week. The Coronado Public Library is once again serving as an official mail ballot drop-off location. San Diego County Register Voter staff will be accepting ballots during normal library hours through Monday, March the 2nd. On Election Day itself, Tuesday, March the 3rd, Register staff will accept ballots from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. The Coronado Public Library, though, is not a polling location. In other words, one may not cast a ballot at the library. Please don't drop your ballots into the book return container because they won't be counted. Public Services recently replaced two city vehicles with electric vehicles to help Coronado reduce its greenhouse gas emissions. A dual port charging station was installed at City Hall and two parking stalls are now dedicated for the new vehicles. A plan has been developed to replace existing sedans with electric vehicles when they are identified for replacement, reducing the overall emissions produced by the city's fleet. Maintenance on the cave's dog park run is underway. All the problem areas were seeded for new growth to allow for recovery of some grass. Some sections of the dog park remain closed. Areas needing the most attention are secured by green fencing. If improvements are not visible within 45 days, staff may decide to lay new turf. City staff will continue to inspect the area regularly and provide update on the condition. Jesse is really a sweet four-year-old mixed breed dog, is this week's pet of the week. Jesse is social and loves company and affection. She is a bit shy but comes out of her shell with some attention. As part of her adoption, Paws of Coronado will provide three training sessions to make sure she gets a good start with her new family. To set up a visit with Jesse, call Paws, which runs the city's animal care facility, at 619 522-7371. For more information on these events and all the city's news, check out the City Manager's Weekly Update online.